What's up? What's up, guys? Okay. I'm, huh? Anyway, guys, um, I'm sorry for the way that this video looks. I'm going to be preparing this quick meal. Um, in case of some of y'all don't know how to make last minute meals, this is just something we just throw together. And I've got Maurice here. He's going to open up the cans for me because he bought this electric um, can opener, as you can see over here. But I can't use the thing. It is hard to use. It is, in my opinion, it's rigged up. But anyway, I'm going to throw together this meal um, just to make a meal because he said he wants something. So he's going to open up the cans. I've, I'm going to... Um, while he's opening up the cans, I'm going to cut open this ground turkey. I'm going to just ground up this turkey real quick. Um, so I'm just going to take it out and put it in the skillet. I've got my skillet already getting hot. Um, I've already washed my hands, you know, of course, you want to make sure you cook with clean hands. I wash my hands. Um, I'm going to grab some seasoning. I'm going to grab a little bit of seasoning salt. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that in. A little bit of black pepper I don't know if y'all can hear Maurice or not he's opening up my cans um so I like to use a spatula here to really ground up my meat. Whether I'm cooking ground beef, um, ground chicken, it doesn't really matter. I just like to use my spatula so I can chop it up real good. Um, okay, while that's cooking, got these look if you can see this the little small early young peas I've got two cans of those that I'm going to just pour in this skillet like I said this is just a real quick meal um Go back with me some black pepper in the peas. I'm trying. I had to go get me some butter. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in my peas. Finish grounding up my ground turkey here. I know y'all probably saying well I do want to see what it looked like. Look what I just did. Got some butter on my shirt. Well I'm going to put about a ta tablespoon, I guess this is what it is. I don't know. But anyway, about this much. About this much of butter in my peas. Well, 
Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all. Black folk love sugar. I'm going to put just a little bit of sugar in here. Not a whole lot, but just, just a little bit to sweeten it up. Y'all probably can't see that. Let's see. Yeah, see that? See my ground turkey? Chop up this ground turkey a little bit more. version of hamburger heifer. I wanted something like uh, with a little white creamy sauce to it. Um, Y'all, yeah, I got a cat at my back door. Got a cat. But anyway, get back to what I was saying. I wanted something um, real like a creamy white sauce. Heaven, what are you doing? Come here. Y'all, this is reality. You use the bathroom? Yeah. Okay. Most of y'all out there can relate to this. When you're trying to cook, you see the television show when everybody in the kitchen cooking and it's like they have no kids. Some of them don't. I get that. But for us real working people, women out here who really don't, you know, you, you, you're working hard. You got to come home and cook. You got the children you got to see about. They getting into everything. And then... If you had a man in the house and he decides to leave. So... Okay, my ground beef is all ground up, well my ground turkey I mean, I'm talking about beef, I don't know what I'm thinking about, anyway, I'm going with two different types of pasta, can y'all see the little garlic? This is garlic olive oil. This one is Parmesan cheese. So, yeah. I'm going to just mix those up. Y'all, in case you're wondering, this is real black folks cooking right here. We don't go by recipe. We don't pull out no measuring cups. None of that. We put stuff together. That's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm getting some hot water that I'm going to pour right in here with this ground turkey because I've got to boil my noodles. Okay, got my water in there. Loosen up my ground turkey. Take out my sauce packets. Okay, for my ingredients, both of them call for butter in the skillet. Um, one of them calls for milk. Both of them call for water. So, I'm going to go ahead on and put 
some butter in here. About this much. You guys can see it. Yeah, I'm putting about that much of butter in my skillet. Just a little bit more water. Let's hurry up and bring this to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, then I'm going to place my pasta in. In here. Um, okay, so while that's cooking, I'm going to, I'm also going to cook some corn. I have cream corn that I'm going to place in here. I got this from my grandma. I used to love when um, I had my first child, my oldest child, and my grandma, she prepared this for me. It was so good, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it was absolutely delicious, the best. So I make I got the cream corn and I'm also putting the whole kernel corn in there as well. The corn juice and all. I'm just gonna pour it all in there, all in the same skillet. And you probably can guess what I'm about to add next. You already know. Some more butter, about this much. Throw my cans in the trash. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. So my water has come to a boil. Can y'all see that? So I'm going to pour my angel hair pasta in. It don't really want to come out good. Just one pack. Pour in the other pack. Stir this in good. Get this all down in here real good. I don't want my oil to stick a little bit. So I'm going to put just a little grease. I've got the butter in there, but yep, you put some grease in here. You can say, well, that's why people have all this high cholesterol and heart disease and all that. Yeah, it may be true, but while we're sitting here worried about me putting all this grease in here and stuff, better be worried about the other stuff. Just, you can sit there and cook meat healthy all that you want but as long as they keep injecting it with all of this stuff you still gonna get cancer or whatever so you might as well just live and enjoy yourself that's what i say i'm not talking against no one i'm just saying before you judge me and how i'm cooking let me and my family enjoy the way we gonna eat and you and yours enjoy the way y'all gonna eat so when I put my corn in, I just dropped butter in. That's all that I did. Um, I'm going to add some black pepper. Look at all the steam, y'all. Just look at all the steam. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar to my corn as well. Yeah, if you wonder, yeah, we add sugar to everything. Just a little bit, not a lot. Um, 
I'm also going to, I've got some cream here. I've got some cream that I'm going to add to my corn. And I'm going to add it to my pasta dish here too as well. Okay. So I've got that added in. I'm gonna stir up my corn. Let it get cooking. All nice and creamy. Like I said, I got my pasta dish here cooking. Y'all think I can have this meal done in 30 minutes? Right now, it's been like 16 minutes. Let's see. Steaming. That's why it's really steaming the way it is. But I'm getting ready to turn it down now. Seriously. Shirt my peas just a minute. Got my pasta here is boiling, looking really, really good. These little packets came with my pasta for the sauce. I'm going to go ahead and add it on in. One packet. I'm going to add in the second one. Got that cooking. Now I'm adding a little bit more seasoning to my little sauce mix. Add some accent to it. My little pasta. Well, a lot. Love accent, y'all. Want to add some more little parsley flakes to it. That might have seemed like a lot, but it's not a whole lot that's coming out of that container. That's why I was shaking it so much. It might seem like, gosh, you're putting a lot in there, but I'm really not. I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese to it since my sauce mix already has some Parmesan because I like my really cheesy and good. I'm going to add just a little bit of garlic powder. Stir up my corn. You have to keep an eye on this corn, guys, because it will stick. You better not let that cat in. My daughter in the background. She's talking to the cat that's on the doorstep. Asking if you want to come in. 
she'll let him in too. Here we have. Okay. What you say? Stir my little pot to here a little bit more. It's trying to stick. Just a little bit of salt to my dish. Kind of wake up the flavors a little bit. If I don't have enough cheese in there, I'm going to add a slice of cheese. Get that, um, get those paper towels up and put them in the tray. Okay. If I say, I thought you wanted a white base stock. Yeah, I do. But I wanted cheesy. That's what we do. We change up how we cook at the last minute. We don't ever cook. That matches the recipe. You just throw something together. Twenty-four minutes, y'all. You think I'm gonna make it? The peas are done. Y'all want to be careful about reaching over the stove like I just did in the steam. I burnt my hand years ago. Right here. But you can't, you can't see it. Anyway, I burnt my arm years ago when I was first learning how to cook. Reached across the stove. And that heat, it burnt me. It burnt my arm so bad. 
I don't know what made me do that. I just thought it was going to be okay, but anyway. Yeah, it got me. So my corn is done. My corn is done. My peas are done. And you know what? I don't have lids. Y'all, I'm cooking and she's back there getting candy. You see her? Look at her. Anyway, it's okay, guys, if you don't have lids for your stuff. Aluminum foil. Have to make do with what you got. So, I have finished cooking. My sauce is going to sit here and get thickened. It's going to get thicker as it sits. I'm going to cover it up. What you want? Y'all see? What you want? What you mean, car charger? How many, how many car chargers you got? One. Now hold it real quick. Ooh, you you can get the short one. You gonna get my good one because okay. I don't want your truck to blow out my own good. It's in the car. Oh, Marie got the car. Both of them car. Yeah. You got two. What you do with the ones I gave you? Hey, you don't know what it is. All right, guys. Well, that's it. I'm done. Bye.